Hello Gumpla fans, this is Joe, Joe's Gumpla, here with another video, and got back from Mason yesterday, it was a two-day trip, went there uh, Friday and Saturday, came home both nights, uh, I was going to go again today, but um, just couldn't do it, overwhelmed. And uh, I'm out of money anyway. So anyway, um, so I'm going to do a series of three videos on my trip. Uh, the first one is going to be um, all the swag that I got. The second one is going to be uh, talking about the cosplay that I saw and some meetups that I did. And the third one would be the Gundam Builders World Cup. And uh, yeah, so uh, let's get started with all of the wonderful things. Um, a lot of uh, freebies and whatnot, as there is at any convention. Um, I assume this is actually the first time I've ever been to a convention. Um, Crunchyroll was there handing out free bags with program guides and advertisements. All sorts of things. By the way, if you like Pokemon and Symphonic Orchestra. Uh, Pokemon Symphonic Evolutions, Saturday, June 20th, at the Chicago Theater. Tickets are on sale now. I thought that was cool. I mean, I'm not a Pokemon fan, but I do like orchestra music. So that's something. Uh, Crunchyroll was also hooking everyone up with these ooh, lanyards that's hooked up there. For your name badge, I had them put. I don't know if you can see Joe of Joe's Gumpa on my name badge. Um, almost didn't fit, they had to take out a space. That's okay. Um, so many cool things. Let's start with the actual merchandise Salt Kingdom RX 78 II uh, comes with a buttload of accessories. I got the stand all loaded out with everything. Um, about the only thing that it didn't come with is uh, the shield, uh, which was a little disappointing, but it came with the Gundam Hammer and uh, Beam Javelin, so I really can't complain. Um, also got Gundam Standart Gion. Um, I'm really falling in love with these standards. It's only my second one, but I can see myself possibly collecting them uh, en masse, or in mass, as it is properly pronounced. Um, then there was, hold on, so many things. Um, remember a couple weeks ago, me and my local friends went up north to visit some places we knew sold Gumpla, and I bought this little guy, um, it is a build model, RX-78-2, and uh, I didn't think I'd be buying any more of these, I mean they're kind of neat, um, I think they're adorable, um, but I didn't really like anything else in the lineup, there was an act guy, uh, Shar Zagak, and then Jim. But then I found out that there's also an accessory pack. So, got that, and uh, it came with these two little vehicles. They're tiny and adorable. Um, also came with the beam rifle, the uh, beam spray gun, one shield, two shields, and the bazooka. So I went ahead and just put everything on the Gundam because, like I said, they're probably not going to get the gym. At least not anytime soon. Um, I got from a friend, which I will talk about in the next video, a whole bunch of prints of his artwork, and I will go in detail over those because they are spectacular. Um, 
the artist alley full of a whole bunch of people selling prints, poster size, all the way down to card stock size of their artwork that they do. And um, some of it, almost all of it, all of it, all of it across the board uh, was just spectacular. Uh, very talented people selling copies of their original artwork, uh, fan artwork, and just so cool. Um, I didn't see a lot of Gundam themed stuff, which was fine, uh, but I did find one booth that was selling almost exclusively uh, Gundam themed artwork, and it was a very cool style. Um, I think it's either done uh, with stencils or um, cut out tissue paper because it kind of reminds me of the Hungry Caterpillar. Um, anyway, so I bought this one here, uh, obviously Psycho Gundam vs. Mark II in Neo Hong Kong. And uh, it's just, it's a really cool art style. I loved it. And it was only $8 for this. And he had massive prints, and this was the smallest size. And uh, it was just well worth the money. Um, if I if I would have had budgeted properly, I would have supported a lot more artists and bought a lot more prints because it's just this is this is it's really cool when when someone is willing to share their artwork with you even if it is at a price you know they put a lot of work into it and they deserve to get paid for it so um moving on to oh anime central schedule companion guide um that was in the crunchy roll bag uh, the Anime Central 2015 Program Guide. Now let me spend one hour going through everything in here. Okay, I'm done. Daisuke was there. If you signed up with them, either started a new account or showed them that you already had an account, you're going to spin a wheel. If you win, um, you get a figure uh, of a character, whatever. They were, and they were actually some really nice figures, but I did not win. But anyone who spun the wheel, got a couple of posters. These are humongous, so I'm not going to unroll them uh, on camera. Uh, one is for an anime that I don't know at all. The other one is for Gundam The Origin. It's the um, it's the cover art for the DVD Blu-ray uh, with Char. You know, uh, he's got Ron Moral and all the other characters just kind of around him. And it's huge, and uh, I saw it laying on the table, just a pile of them, and I was like, how do I get that poster? And he said, sign up for a Daisuke account, and I was like, right on. So um, now I have two accounts, because I didn't realize until I was already done that I could have just showed it that I had an account. Anyway, moving on to uh, Bluefin, the Bluefin booth had all sorts of things. Uh, freebies, a uh, Shokugan, Shokugan uh, the, the guide of some kind. All sorts of stuff in here. They had, they still have a ton of these 2012 Gumpla navigation catalogs. I was lucky enough to snag two of the 2014 Gumpla catalog, um, navigation catalog. It's not like the Gumpla Bible, but it's uh, it's got some substantial information in here. Uh, one of these is for Matt. I hope to give him one at our next meetup for Barnes and Noble, so I can distract him with that while I build, and hopefully I'll beat that guy because I will beat that guy. Um. Uh, Almost done. High grade Victory 2 Gundam. Please excuse the dog that's barking in the background. Anyway, so we got this. And 
I was surprised that they had this. Oh, $16, not a bad price. And for $30, original Japan price is 3,000 yen, so like pretty on the mark there. Double Riser Real Grade. Um, I was surprised they had it. Surprised, not surprised. Um, I originally was thinking about getting the Exia Dark Matter Master Grade, but I have built two Master Grade Exias recently, and I was Exia it out. And then I saw that. Cool. Um, also, if you spent a certain amount of money, I think it was 50 or more at Bluefin, you got this cool bag with uh, Gundam Unicorn Episode 7 stuff on it. And then on the back, Gundam Build Fighters, now streaming on Gundam.info. And with every Gundam kit purchase, they were giving away um, the first high grade. Uh, customized campaign parts. Uh, he gave me two of the C's. I actually already got a bunch of these. Um, so I think I got three of these guys now. Um, last but not least, for a friend, I picked up um, a couple of things. This was a freebie little postcard sized artwork of Sailor Moon. And with that, because she absolutely adores. Sailor Jupiter. There we go. Picked up this button. There we go. For Sailor Jupiter. For my friend. And cool beans. I think that's it. Yep. Alright. So there's going to be two more videos about my ASIM trip. Uh, the next one's going to be about meetups and cosplay, and the third one will be about the Gum World, Gumpla Builders World Cup, and those should be coming up soon. So, until next time, happy building, be good to each other. Hello, Gumpla. Do I want? Do I want my hat? Hat? No hat. Hat? No hat. No hat.